Hey everyone, doing a little midday update on trading this morning as we had a wonderful opportunity. And a lot of the members executed these trades better than I did just in terms of holding on longer, but nailed the bottom, absolutely killed it on the bottom entry and sold too early was my uh, mistake. And going back and reviewing what played out, again, I, I'm not sitting here saying, oh man, shoulda, woulda, coulda, because I had a day maker in terms of profit going against the trend. So I'm not, I'm not upset that I locked that in, but obviously missed out on a month maker if I held on a little bit longer. But when you look at this move, this is the strongest five minute bounce that I've ever seen on WEED. Just the way that we went from five minute RSI in the teens up to, and this is actually TWMJF, but we'll look at weed in a second. But the RSI went on the five minute time frame from the teens to above 70 in one straight shot. And I can't remember ever seeing that happen in Canadian MJ. So this is a short squeeze without a doubt. And there's huge volume already surpassing yesterday's total volume in the first two hours of trading today. So what we have was an all out dump. Let's look at WEED because these five minute RSIs are important. My decision to begin scaling in again, hourly RSI historically bounces from the low twenties time and time again. Here on the hourly RSI, we were at about 21 down at the low of the day. That in combination with the five minute RSI being in the teens, I was very comfortable entering positions. So I entered my initial position on TWMJF. My biggest entry was here at 1923 or 1922. And then I sold a quarter of that position on a small bull move to lock in some profit and to give me more space before break even. And then we continued dropping and I said, all right, the five minute RSI is still down at 15. That hasn't changed. So I'm going to re-enter. So I re-entered twice as many shares as I sold right up here for small profit, re-entered and averaged down a little bit. And my decision on when to average down is I said to myself, all right, I'm entering when WEED is 2420, I will enter more on a break of $24 psychological support. So as soon as that broke, we dropped down to 2388 and I added to my position, uh, again, adding about 60% more position on that entry. So then I began scaling out on the bounce and I was all out, you know, by the time we were up on the fifth green candlestick. And there's a couple of reasons for that. The first reason, now that I'm getting rid of these lines, the first reason was volume. Look at the volume, not there. The volume for the bears was very high. The volume for the bulls in the first 15 minutes on this bounce was not significant. So that leads us to believe, okay, this could be a five minute bear flag. It's a small, weak bounce. There's no volume behind it. We have to be cautious at these levels. So that's why I was beginning to lock in some profit again, because if I'm getting a day maker worth of profit in against the trend, that's something that I'm quicker to lock in. If I'm trading with the trend, I let the trades ride longer. So that was the scenario. And what changed? Why did we see this big bull volume spike at 1025? And why did we see a short squeeze after that? And a lot of people say there's no correlation between Canadian MJ and SPY. And I'm not going to have arguments with people, but I can just assure you that literally eight hours, five days a week, I'm not exaggerating, 40 hours a week, I am staring at correlations between SPY, Canadian MJ, oil, all of it. So there's no doubt in my mind there's correlations. And look at WEED on the five minute time frame, and let's compare what SPY and the S&P 500 were doing at the same time. So look at the start of the day. We consolidated on SPY. The low of the day on SPY was hit down at about 9.55, and we had a little higher low at about 10.05. The low of the day on Canadian MJ, WEED here, was at 10.10, so a little bit after. But look at the bull move. So the bulls started showing up, same bull move for WED and SPY. And what happened at 10.25 that made the bulls kick it into high gear? SPY broke the high of the day right at that moment. And let's actually go real, zoom in on this one and see exactly when the high of the day broke. This is the one minute time frame. High of the day broke on SPY on this candlestick right here. And that is when we got our five, our little one minute higher low and higher high. And that's when the bull momentum started kicking in. So back to the five minute time frame. The new high of the day on SPY occurred on this candlestick right here. And then it was just a breakout as SPY saw significant follow through on its new high of the day. Bulls jumped in on the market and we saw bulls jump in on WEED. We've also been noting that Cron has held up the past two days better than the rest of the Canadian MJ sector. So let's look at the daily chart. Let's get rid of SPY for a second. We'll look at the daily chart for WEED the past two days. Big bear day, big dump and bounce today. We compare that to Cron, Canadian Cron. Little bit bear day yesterday, and we didn't break the low. We didn't break the low of last week while WEED did. So what's the potential reason 
that that is the case. And in my opinion, it's because Cron is on the NASDAQ and Cron on the NASDAQ has exposure to the very bullish S&P 500 currently up 1.67% as I speak right now. So in my opinion, once these other names get dual listed tickers on the NASDAQ, the correlations to the US market are going to only increase. So again, just going right back to WEED in the five minute time frame, correlations in my opinion are the reason that we saw WEED kick it into second gear here and it was struggling on the bounce initially. This was not a V-shaped recovery. It was a U-shaped recovery. Bulls struggling for the first 20 minutes of the bounce and the new high of the day on SPY and the bulls did not look back with a huge short squeeze and we're now seeing a potential five minute bull flag. Keep in mind longer term, look at the four hour time frame. This is the longer term chart for WEED. Anything under 2817, which we are nowhere near, anything under that level is a lower high. No changes of trend are occurring on longer term time frames. This is a short term oversold bounce that was magnified by a SPY breakout causing a short squeeze on WEED in my opinion. And now we're going to be watching for a change in the four hour trend to indicate when a more significant bounce is playing out. So if this four hour time frame gives us a higher low and higher high, that's when the trend will change. And looking at it on the hourly time frame, again, big bounce, but we need higher lows and higher highs to be believers that these bounces are for real in terms of changing the daily trend. Because don't lose sight, we just broke to a lower low on the daily this morning. We're still in lower highs and lower lows on the daily chart. And we have a long way to go, longer term time frames to change this trend. But congrats to the Bulls. Again, I have to give shout outs to people in the chat room because they held on a lot longer than I did and had month makers themselves. So again, always good to go back and look. And in hindsight, what I would have done differently is just hold partial position, lock in half my profit and then hold my the rest of my half of the profit and look for the hourly bounce to get a little bit more follow through. Even looking in hindsight and saying, oh man, if I held, I'd have this much money. That's never a reality because there is no chance that I would have held through this bull move, anticipating that it's going to be the strongest WEED bounce that I've ever seen. And that the five minute RSI is going to go from 15 to 75 in one straight shot. So have to be realistic when you're feeling the FOMO and saying, all right, you know, even if I did hold a little bit longer, there's no chance I would have held up into the 26s. So again, congrats to the bulls. We're not changing long-term trends and we'll see how the rest of the day plays out from here.